Hey everybody, Asylum Child here, and today I'm going to show you uh, some new brushes that I found. Uh, especially one in particular, I'm going to dote on this guy. So, uh, and I'm going to show you how fantastic this brush really is. Um, if you go into your Clip Studio Assets and look up Skin Brush and have it search, you find this brush right here, which I'm going to click on. I've already downloaded it, but I'm going to show you. It is from Aritrox, Retrox, uh, that's his icon right there, a girl with black and red hair. It is a skin brush, and you're like, look at this, and you're like, wow. Okay, this is a skin brush I use for most of all of my drawings, for example, this picture. It is a fantastic brush. Um, I recommend downloading it and putting it in your uh, brush directory. Now, what it is, it is a fantastic brush, and I'm going to show you what it does. It's, uh, I'll show you even the technical stuff. Um, for those of you who don't know how to do it, it's, uh, you download it, and then you look for wherever you put it in your downloads, which uh, I don't remember exactly where I downloaded it before, but, uh, yeah, you should know how to do this, so, uh, um, yeah, not gonna, not gonna do too much. It's right there. Skin brush. It is a brush tool, and you can bring it over to any brush. I put it over to my airbrush tool, and even called it skin brush, <laughs> right there. So I'm gonna show you what this does. Um, we're gonna use our our favorite, our favorite line art girl. I'm gonna use our favorite line art girl from where I showed you the basic coloring from before. So. Alright, uh, let's see, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to fill this in with, with gray real quick. Okay, so, alright, what this brush does is fantastic because I'm going to show you the technical stuff of it first. Uh, so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to show you, show the parameters and everything. Okay, so what it is, brush size is clicked and you can do the brush size. You have blending mode normal, and he's got a color mixing. Color mixing is this one, running color. Amount of paint is 37. Density of paint is 10. Color stretch is on, but it's a zero. Okay? I'm going over these because it's important, because if you can't find this brush, you can make your own. And it, depending on the, you know, well, I couldn't find it in the assets, it's not available anymore, or something, you can make your own. Or you can copy this guy's settings. Anti-aliasing is none. He's got it, he doesn't have any anti-aliasing on it. Brush shape, he's got pencil, just a soft pencil. Brush shape, okay? The brush tip, he has a circle. He has the hardness three points. Thickness is 100. He doesn't have any eyeballs on any of this stuff. Adjust brush density by gap. He's got it clicked, and he's got it set to 80. Okay. Spraying effect. He doesn't have anything listed there. Stroke. He's got gap on the third one for normal. And he's got the eyeball in mix brush tips with darken. Okay. He's got an eyeball in there. Texture. Nothing here. Board of Weller color, nothing there. Nothing in erase. Nothing in correction. Nothing in starting and ending. And nothing in anti flow. So, if you want to try and copy this brush, that is the settings. You want to go back and kind of make your own brush. I'm not going to go into how to make your own brush because there's other tutorials and stuff about that, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so. Say we want to use this line art for our favorite, our favorite girl. So I'm going to go with a mid-tone. No, we'll go with a normal brownish mid-tone here. So we'll go for like that. Give her a dark skin like we did before. And uh, you know, say you want to, you want to do the, you don't want the line art. You want to do the. Uh oh, I don't know why I use that brush. Okay. This is Clip Paint Studio. You could use this. This is my favorite brush. So I'm just going to go over her face and some part of her chest. So we're going to do a torso piece real quick. So let me 
grab this real quick. It's not going to be super perfect or anything. I'm just, you want super perfect in your pictures, but this is just a demonstration. So we're not, not doing super perfect uh, for the demonstration. I'm just going over what we normally do in the line art and stuff. Like you would use your line art and you want to do a real painted look and everything. So, you know, we're going to do that like the kind of uh, the kind of the Sakimi-chan, uh, Priwinko kind of thing. So, uh, get a little bit of hair in there, but nothing much. Okay, so say that you, get, you this is your whole drawing and we've got, we've got everything all in the way we want it. Okay, so we lock the layer and then we'll go into our airbrush and we'll go into the skin brush right here. And you just do what you normally do with your with your color theory and all that and go down here into the red and start bringing. Now the cool thing is yeah, I adjust it by using the uh, brackets tools. Everybody knows how to do that so you can see it's smaller and better. But here's the thing. Depending on how hard you press on the pencil, you can have you can have it do hard edged lines like so. We'll put in the hard edges first like so. You notice it has a little bit, you know, it's got a little bit of a blend to it, but you'll notice that it's real hard edged. The hard edges are there. You now we're getting in the hard edges. It's really good about that. Get in here. And then like, I want to filter that out some, so I bring it up a little bit, and then you just a little softly, without changing any brushes, just changing some brush size and the delicacy of your stroke, you can go from hard edged to soft just by using pin pressure. And then you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about changing your pencil or changing your brush. You could use the same brush for your hard edges and come back in here and then just now if you start off soft like here, you know you start off soft and you want to do a hard edge, you just lower the size of the brush and then just the pin pressure changes with the strength of your of your stroke so isn't that cool now if you want to you know well I don't trust that line or anything you can still marquee stuff like if you want here you can still marquee and then you go back to your brush. And you can still do the hard edges, you know, like that, but blend it in. See? Start it off. And depending on. See? Do the same thing with over here if you want to do that over here. And then go back to brush. Depending on how hard, see, you push hard, it makes, you know, depending on your pressure, it makes an edge, and then take the same and just lightly and it just, it's all about pin pressure. So this pin, this pin, this brush goes totally with pin pressure. It is a fantastic brush. And you can go in and do the finer details. You can do them as hard. You can start off hard or soft. And then just, just lighten up your pressure and 
build it up. And then you can even do the colors and stuff, like uh, I'm going to do the blush and stuff now. So you can just get the blush in there, like so, around the eyes, lips, chin, around here, inner ear here. And then, you know, we start doing in the highlights. You say we had hard highlights like here on her nose. You know, see, you know, it's got a hard highlight, but it's too hard. Just blend it out. Isn't that cool? This guy's brush is really amazing. And you can just do it as hard or soft as you need without changing your brush. You can just go in there light or go in there hard. Look here, I'm going to make a highlight here. Like so. And then a lighter one inside the neck here. Do a hard highlight here and here. And then just blend it out. And you don't have to use a blend tool or anything. You just change the size and pin pressure. You know, just adjust your pin pressure however you want. And there you go. You got... It just blends it right in depending on your on your pin pressure. See how I blended in that darker part right there with the lighter part where it was wasn't too dark and stuff. I can do the same thing here and you can just blend in your colors. Even further highlight. Just depending on your pin pressure and stuff, you just blend it right into the rest of the picture with the colors and everything. You don't have to use your your blend tool, you just pin pressure. Ta da! Isn't that beautiful? That's just beautiful. I'm going to do her eyes real quick too to show you. Just how, because you know, highlights and stuff in the eyes. Like, okay, hold on, hold on. Like uh, lips here, we can we can get this. Okay, so we'll get this color. Go in the shadow, or we'll get we'll get this color. We'll go in the shadow of her lips real quick. See, just go in here. Do, do, do. We'll get a lip in there. Like that. A little bit of highlight on this side of the lip here, like so. A little bit of shine on the dimple back here and back here, and then yeah, there we go. Yep, and then back to dark. Get a really dark line under here, underneath this lip, real quick. Smooth it out. So, that's a little too bright there, so we're going to go with that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That, a little bit darker. Just saturate it a bit. Do, 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 do. And then make it a little bit brighter for that part there. See? And then a little bit brighter. Then make. See how you can just go straight into the highlights? And then yeah, even brighter. 
shine like she's wearing lip gloss. All that with the same brush. Same thing with the eyes. Let's do eyes real quick. Start off with a dark color. We'll fill this in. It's a little too light. Fill this in real quick. And you can always still, you know, you want to use your fill tool, you can still use your fill tool like so and then go to your brush and blend it out like that, see? You can still do that. It's good for that too, see? So if you still want to use your your cell shading and, and everything, this works great for cell shading too. This brush is it's really awesome. So, you know, just depending on pin pressure, you get lighter or darker, depending on. If you want a hard edge in her eye, see, I can just push the pin pressure. Like so. Give her a hard edge in her eyes, like that. Let's give her green eyes. Green eyes are kind of vivid. If you have green eyes, you're a very lucky human being. Green is actually a very rare color in eye colors, just so you know. So you go, ooh. Okay, so you turn. Depending on how much pressure you build, see, I can make a dark here and then just real light around the edges. Real dark here, real light around the edges. See, I don't have to change my brush. You just go right into, <laughs> right into it, you know. And when I want the highlights, the bright white highlight, and you're in pin pressure. And then see, all I had to do is change the pin pressure, and I went from really hard up here to really soft down here. Cool, huh? All that done with the same brush. So, if you get a chance, you know, you have Clip Paint, Clip Studio Paint, get this skin brush from Retrox. This is what it looks like, and this is where you download it. It's already been liked 54 times now because I got it. I would share the, um, share the link to you, but direct message and, you know, you can do the other stuff but um, I can share the URL which I'm going to do I'm going to share it down in the comments below so you can find it too and uh, this this is how fantastic this brush is so just uh, doing some highlight if you guys know some really cool tools and everything that you'd like me to try out or or feature on my channel here to, to give a shout out to uh, some people or you yourself have some material or some brushes or something you've done for Clip Studio Paint. Uh, just let me know in the comments below and say, hey, can you feature this on you? And I would be very happy to give you a shout out and try out your brushes and your materials. Well, that's all for today. Uh, I'm gonna come up with some more videos and stuff later on. Been working on some stuff with a comic book and everything. I'll have to ask if it's okay for me to show some highlights and stuff of the comic book I'm working on uh, with the uh, creator and everything. I'll have to ask her if it's okay. And if it's cool with Liz Vicious, then I will uh, definitely show you some of the comic book and everything. So uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like what you see. And I'll catch you later. Bye.